Palo Alto Networks landed on IBM's radar this week, or, well, more appropriately, they just bought IBM's Q radar. The solution includes their EDR offering, X Force Threat Intelligence, Security Orchestration, and Randori Recon. The move comes as IBM seeks to divest their non core assets after they announced that they were going to be acquiring HashiCorp, which we covered previously on the rundown. Palo Alto will be migrating the Q Radar customers over to their Cortex platforms and then integrating the Q Radar software pl- assets into their platforms as well. Also announced was a deal that would see IBM reselling Palo Alto security offerings through their consulting business. Rather than having us comment on this ourselves, let's get a reaction from our colleague, Krista McComber, who recently wrote a research note about this announcement. Yep, thanks guys. So as we mentioned last week, caught on the heels of the RSA conference, we did see that um, Palo Alto Networks announced that it plans to acquire the IBM Q Radar business. And this is notable not only for both IBM and Q Radar, um, but really for the security market as a whole. We're seeing that the more traditional SIM tools, which IBM Q Radar is one, they're experiencing some increasing competition from alternative options like Palo Alto Networks, um, their Cortex platform, which is what we would consider an extended detection and response platform. And the reason is because security operations teams are looking for tools that can um, really kind of streamline their job functions on a day-to-day basis provide more visibility um, across their environment um, to kind of enhance their threat detection um, and really kind of also incorporate some automation and artificial intelligence to, as I was mentioning, streamline their functions, um, but also further kind of hone that ability to um, detect and respond to um, vulnerabilities, incidents, um, things of that nature. So the deal is expected to close in September. It's primarily for Palo Alto Networks and acquisition of the customer base. They do plan to migrate the um, <clears throat> the Q Radar customer base over to um, the Palo Alto Networks Cortex platform um, following the close of the deal this fall. So in addition to um, really kind of a consolidation um, of vendors in the security operations space, One thing that kind of jumped out to me in the announcement is the fact that um, Palo Alto Networks will acquire IBM's X-Force threat intelligence team. And that's notable to me because X-Force is um, well-respected in the industry. Um, They have kind of a long history of, um, you know, threat detection, um, their X-Force intelligence report, which they produce on an annual basis, um, has sort of become what I would view as really a de facto in terms of um, analyzing how um, you know threat actors, their approaches are evolving on a yearly basis. So um, it'll be interesting from my perspective to see um, how that's integrated with the um, existing threat intelligence efforts um, that Palo Alto Networks has underway um, and really what they do with that team in addition to the customer base. We do have um, a research note, so I collaborated with Stephen Dickens on our end that goes um, a little bit more into detail, not only from the Palo Alto Network side of things, but also from the IBM side of things um, that we can link to in the show notes here. Um, And again, it's going to be really interesting to see how um, this market continues to evolve moving forward. Well, it's awesome having uh, Krista weigh in on that. Thanks a lot. 